Good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for March the 14th. Uh, turning to Neely Henry, we spoke to Lynn Johnson, who spent an afternoon breaking in his Skeeter boat and fishing a little bit on the, on the lake. He said the waters have begun to fall. The temperatures are up to 59 degrees. Water's reaching a stable level um, of normal level, but the largemouth are a little bit funky due to the falling waters. He did say that the spotted bass have begun to feed up and that he's been catching a few fish on chatterbaits and crankbaits, fishing near the main channels. Uh, crappie bite is still trolling 10 to 12 feet deep over brush piles with uh, grubs that you can get right here in our loft. Uh, Logan Martin, Lynn Johnson again, he won the Coosa River Team Trail Tournament last weekend with 19.84 pounds. Uh, he said he found fish in Broken Arrow Creek, fishing in ditches, but he said the fish were grouped up and he caught them on bomber flat A crankbaits and a red crawfish color. Now, turning our attention to the Bassmaster Classic at Lake Gunnersville from last weekend, Hank Cherry from North Carolina won the tournament with 65 pounds, eight ounces over the three day event. Cherry fished the Browns Creek Causeway with Mega Bass Vision 110 plus one jerk baits, jackhammer bladed jigs, and a skipping jig. Chatterbaits were the most predominant uh, techniques mentioned by most of the anglers in the top 10, including but that also included shallow cranks, lipless crankbaits, and our own Matt Heron managed to finish the tournament in 10th place. Uh, very tough event, uh, not a lot of bites to be had, but as things have begun to progress, the water's cleared and things have gotten better. So that is your area fishing report from Bucks Island. Come visit us at the loft if you have any questions or you need some specific tackle.